Hi, my name is Jared Harrington, and this is my story. My story begins, I've been raised in church all my life. Never was a bad kid, or you know, never did run around, do things I shouldn't do. I never was that way. I just never did come to the Lord and went to church camps, you know, and I never did do anything there really. Uh, except I've been raised in church all my life. Went to church every Sunday. Rodney Kirby, who's actually my uncle, invited my mom, Christy, and my family to the church. And the first couple Sundays, I never did go to youth or anything. I just would come and sat and listen to Brother Jamie preach, and he does an amazing job at that. He, he knows what he needs to do, and he gets it done. And it's awesome to hear his word. And, I finally started going to youth and heard Garrett and got interacted with the youth a little bit and it's awesome out there too that they know what they're talking about and just it's good to hear the word in Bethlehem and last Sunday I heard a message that Brother Jamie preached about hell and I've been praying about it for a while to give my life to the Lord and been praying about it and kept on putting it off and putting it off and I don't need to do that. Just I kept telling myself, I'll do it next Sunday, I'll do it next Sunday, I'll do it next Sunday. And had no intentions to walk the aisle last Sunday, but Brother Jamie started preaching, and I knew probably not even 10 minutes into the service, it was time. And at the end of the service, Brother Jamie made everybody close their eyes, and he asked if anybody was ready. And he said, if you are, raise your hand. I raised my hand as high as I could. And I heard him say, he was like, I see you back there. And I just, I felt it right then. I, I, it was time. And then it comes to the end of the service, and Rocky started singing the group and everything. And I went up there, and Brother Jamie prayed with me. And I just, I, it was it was right then, right there. And ever since then, it's every morning I wake up, feel like a different person. It's just, go live out your life, and you don't need nothing to make life good except for God. In God's Word, it says in Proverbs, and always submit to Him, He will make your path straight. That verse to me means you can't have anything in between you and God. If there's nothing between you and God, then you're on the right path. And as soon as an obstacle gets out there, then you got to shove it to the side and make it a straight path, straight to, straight to God, and just keep your eyes on that. And I'm getting baptized today. That to me means just symbolizes that God is doing work in my life and the others. He's doing work in everybody's lives, God. And that means he's, he's still working. He, he won't ever stop.